It's showtime. Good day to you my friends. Yes, my name is Donato and welcome to today's daily show on Saturday the 19th of January. And in this show, I'll be going to the NEC for the National Running Show. Come join me. As you may have noticed guys, it's, it's quite a way to get over to this hall, so you need some proper marathon training to get to the <laughs> exhibition hall that you need from where the train station is. No, joking aside, it's, uh, I'm unlike a tramelator, you know the ones you get at the airports that help you get along, so uh, let's, <laughs> eventually we'll get to the show, although I'll just notice here it says oops and the machine's not working, so I'm going to have to walk properly. <gasps> I don't know if you guys can see this, but it says Birmingham has more as I go along. Got to get the lighting right. More miles of canal than Venice. <laughs> yeah. So I'm now in the atrium section of the NEC and I can confirm these are the furthest halls away from the train station. <laughs> Yes, who needs to do this morning's run when I could have walked all the way here to the uh, exhibition which is, it seems to be at least a mile, mile and a half away from the uh, train station. Anyway, enough of this, let's get in there and do some more walking. Finally got here, let's get inside and see what all the fuss is about here. Yeah? I don't know if you can see behind me, but it is absolutely packed in here, absolutely heaving and there's people still coming in and uh, it looks amazing. So let's take you on a little mini tour around, yeah? Let's go. I do what I think I should do and I've actually performed quite well. Hey guys, as social media would be, here I meet up with one of my good friends who's been running many, many marathons. Your PB is 248, is that right? That's right so yeah. if you were to give them one, give the beginners watching here, you beginners, yeah, watching one marathon tip during the race, what would that one tip be? Definitely don't go up too hard. Um, I follow your training plan. Um, yeah. Don't, so, don't go off too quick. Don't go off too quick. Remember that, guys. Don't go off too quick. Thank you so much. Enjoy yeah, the rest of the show. And you? Uh, so, here we are. And bum, 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 bum. I put my teeth back in. You can tell I've rehearsed this. But <laughs> Q, take three, four, five. No, this is still take one. So we're, we don't do any edits here. So here I'm with two other YouTubers. I've got Mr. Tyson Trainers here and Mr. Forrester Dean Runner. Yeah. You might recognize them both. I'll put links up there to their channels. And uh, how's it going? guys you've been at the show since 9 a.m yeah, yeah tired. tired now mate yeah well actually yeah, i've only just got here i'm full of beans Your and friend. ready to go yeah flag in, flag in. <laughs> oh it's so good this is all part of the training isn't it really? it's good it's getting miles yeah. long slow steady miles excellent yeah. excellent so enjoying it yeah brilliant Very much really, so. really much good. better than last year right. Very recommended. there you go guys so see you maybe tomorrow anyway bye 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 Hey guys, here I am with Bev from Neath in South Wales, is that right? Yeah. So I had to stop Bev because if you guys can see on her shirt, it says badass. Now Bev is a proper badass. It says here, badass mother runner. And as you guys know, following on my channel, we've got badass February coming up. So Bev, are you going to be joining in as being, being active very daily? Yeah, let's go for it, Bev. Anyway, lovely meeting you. Thank you, thank you. So you are a proper badass. So congratulations. Thank you. 
So guys, I'll bump into one of my, I say friends, I've, I've met Mike a number of times. because obviously being Associates. Been, associates, being a Brummai. Um, obviously, Mike is the manager of Birmingham Up yeah, and Running. Yeah, manager of Birmingham right? Store. Off Birmingham Up and Running. Colmore Road. So I'm going to land him a question. And uh, I gave him a little bit of prep, but he hasn't had much time to think about this. I wanted to know his three best sellers. That's all I want to know, your three best selling shoes. What See. would they be? Because obviously you get different types of shoes. Because that's the thing really, so there's so much to go at. I'd say in terms of best sellers for us, like yeah. your obvious ones looking at us as a store, we do really well with Hocker. Hocker? Like, they're a huge sell for hoppers, us. All the Hockers, a whole range of so Hockers. For us in particular, it's the Elevon, that's what me and my assistant manager run in. Yeah, yeah. It's super lightweight, cushioned, enough stability to get you out of trouble. What's the name of that one again? So that's the Hocker Elevon, that is. Hocker Elevon. Google that, Hocker Elevon. So that's okay, so that's number one. Another one that always does bits for us. Um, going really well with the Ons at the minute. On? Cloud, yeah. Cloud on Cloud? O-N Cloud, yeah. Cloud Flyer from, yeah, Cloud Flyer from Which particular model? So the Cloud Flyer. Nice and soft. Cloud Flyer? On Cloud? Cloud Flyer? Yeah, nice, nice and soft. soft. Um, again, a little bit of stability. I think a lot of the shoes now, they're going towards that like more dynamic stability, so it's not going to hit a hard block of a okay. medium arch post. Yep. It suits a lot more runners, and it's nice and broad in the toe box as well, which is good. Okay, so they've opened up the toe box now. Yeah, so I remember exactly. the early ones were a bit tighter. Yeah, so nice and square, it's, it's an okay. interesting shape. And then your number three? I'd say number three, it's going to have to be a bit of a rogue one, because we always do really well with um, front guard, seeing like the body glide stuff. Okay, yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. one of those where like, although you've asked about shoes, it's almost like obligatory of any sale. If you're doing long stuff, if you're getting apparel, if you're getting new shoes, slab of that stuff on and yeah, it's gonna Run guard. stop the awkwardness of oh. when you walk into a shop going, something's rubbed and I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, so it's a chafing, chafing. Yeah, so body glide, we've got body glide, oh, body, body glide for her. And then we've got one with suntan lotion, believe it or not. Okay. No, I can believe that. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All I can say, Mike, obviously I landed you with those. Good. Thank you so much for your time. On the spot. And enjoy the show. Cheers, mate. Hope you, you enjoyed that, guys. Bye bye. So that was Mike from Up and Running, and he was mentioning to say on on Cloud, the uh, other shoes. I'm heading over to Sockany, where they've got the uh, Kimvara stand. It's all about how quick can you do a marathon. Just a quick one. So guys, here I am with Alex, who's the co-founder of Racecheck, and I've got a 30 second challenge for Alex. 30 seconds, Alex, to tell us all about Racecheck. Go! Okay, so Racecheck is a little bit like a trip advisor for sport. We're helping athletes find their perfect race, whether that's a 5K uh, locally or like an OCR obstacle race in Thailand. We basically have over 25,000 past participant reviews, helping you um, uh, get a better feel of what to expect from the event. Um, and we also list, you know, different accommodation options around the event, uh, just very useful information, uh, all under one roof without you having to go to many different websites. That's all. Boom! Brilliant! That was well within the 30 seconds, so I can add a little bit. All I can say is, I'm a member on this as well, and it is brilliant. And as Alex has said, it's a bit like the TripAdvisor, independent reviews of races, absolutely right. from all over the world, isn't it? Yeah? Absolutely, yeah. It's not just UK-based. I know I'm here in Birmingham, United Kingdom, but it's races all over the world. So yeah. for all you guys in America, Australia, New Zealand, put your reviews in there, yeah. and let's get to it, yeah? And download the app as well. It just launched a few oh, weeks ago. Oh, as well. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, absolutely. What's it say here? App Store. Oh, hey, let's get to it. Thank you so much, Alex. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. So, guys, here I am, and I stopped here on stewweb.co.uk, and I'm with Stuart sure. of Stewweb. Yeah. 30 second challenge, tell me all about Stuweb. Go! Okay, so we are um, three, three devices, three sections. Um, we've got a portfolio of running events. We do six races a year. Birmingham Black Country Half Marathon is the big one, and you run from Wolverhampton to Birmingham, and that's where the bars are. We all transport your kit and gear and everything else like that. Okay. Uh, we're also a reseller for RFID timing systems, uh, which are one of the biggest open source timing systems in the world. Most of these systems come in from Australia, supported locally here in the UK. Yeah. Yep. So if we tilt around this way we are also if you don't want to buy a timing system we will come along and time your race for you uh, we can supply running triathlon cycling swimming triathlon hackathon barriers gantries bike racking well done Stuart that was brilliant well no done worries. and I've got to say guys Stuart I didn't uh, prep him or anything he just went straight out and said this so well done on That's the my favourite subject to talk about myself brilliant brilliant thank you guys check out Stuart Webb co UK thank you 
So for those of you who enjoy treadmill running, you can win a six months treadmill hire. <laughs> One of these, eh? <laughs> so guys, here I am with Rebecca of Peloton. And this might not be running, but it is of interest because for those of you who watch my channel, I'm all about cross training and cycling. Spin classes is one of the best form of cross training. So I've said to Rebecca, 30 second challenge, all about Peloton. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so Peloton is live and on demand spin classes in the comfort of your own home. Uh, so we have over 12,000 different uh, live and on demand spin classes on the bike. You can filter by your favorite music, by your um, favorite instructor, how long you want to ride for. We've also got strength, stretching, yoga, meditation, cardio, boot camps, scenic rides. Wow. Uh, there's a leaderboard so you can get very competitive. You connect to Strava, you can connect to heart rate monitor. It's a great diverse piece of training. Absolutely brilliant. I think you win today's race. I think you were done thank in 20 you. seconds. Yay. So thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> Hopefully you found that informative. And uh, you can look it up. I'll leave a link in the uh, blog in terms of Peloton. So you can look up the details. I'm sure you can Google it and yeah, find all so. the info. All but there's a lot in there. So I find this form of cross training one of the best for me. And I'm sure that's why you're here at the running show. Yeah? Thank you for thank your you. time. Well done. What do you think? Thumbs up? Yeah. yeah. So guys, I was running by and I saw Julie smiling at me, so I had to stop and then I looked up and you're part of Run Mummy Run, is that right? Yeah, so yeah. Julie, the 30 second challenge, tell us all about Run Mummy Run. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so Run Mummy Run, we're an online community based on Facebook. We have 60,000 female runners in our group. We have 13 different regional groups as well, where we get together, we chat about running and we chat about our motivations and inspirations and encourage other women to run. We also sell our own running kit for women and we have a website full of blogs and inspirational information. Wow! And I've said we've all that was well within the 30 seconds, so well done Julie. Oh, and this <laughs> wasn't rehearsed, this was first take. Right. And I've got to say, when you talk about the gear, the thing that caught my eye, have a look at this guys. Can you see this? Now, I asked Julie, I said, can we do this for men? Because all we get is black, black, black. You know, know. But, so she did say I could try those on, yeah? yeah. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> it's amazing what you guys do. I've seen you online and stuff, oh, and you do inspire a lot of ladies to run and do all sorts of we stuff. So ladies out there, right. those of you watching, I know a lot of you ladies do watch my channel. I know I'm a bloke, but ladies do watch YouTube as well. Get out there and check out Run Mummy Run, because it's a global thing, isn't it, yeah? We're UK, based, yeah. but there's but no it is global. Else It's the internet. The internet, internet is the world. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. Okay. Of course, guys, all this walking makes me thirsty, so I've got to have a beer. Don't worry, it's non-alcoholic. I'm here on the uh, Erdington stand, and I'm absolutely parched. <sighs> it's nice and cold and refreshing. Cheers, guys. So, guys, I'm here at the 2XU stand, and I thought I'd try one of these... Uh, I'm not, being a bloke, I don't really buy much clothes. And, uh, but this looks so nice. And the price, apparently insulation jacket, 175 pound normal price, which I think is a bit steep. And then I put the hood up and, uh, but it's sale of 80 pounds. What do you reckon? Should I buy it or should I not? Leave some comments below whether I should buy it or not. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'm gonna take this off now because it's a lot of money for me. So here I'm guys with none other than Rich Base, Base hey, 187 right? and Clean Cage Coty, yes! And obviously you met Andy Forrester Dean Runner earlier. So we're having our annual... Sponsored by Runderwear, no we're not. <laughs> <laughs> but our annual Don't gathering. Wearing, man. We're sitting at a table but we're not eating or drinking any of the gear, any of the stuff here, so don't tell anyone that, but we might have a cup of tea here. Yeah, yeah might have a cup good. of tea or something in a bit. So say hello everybody. See, they don't talk when they're on camera now, but they do talk on their own channels. Is that all right now? <laughs> so yes, guys, I did buy something. I got myself some cake and some uh, tea sponsored by Runderwear. Yeah, let's go. So Guy, here I, <laughs> here I am with another YouTuber, and he actually does proper podcasts, though, don't you? Oh, we are everywhere. As you can see on here, on his hat, a runner's ramble. How you doing, mate? I'm very well. How are you too, yeah. young man? You I'm, okay? I'm doing good. You've got, like, proper professional gear, hand recorder. Yeah, yeah. You see he's got a big mic there. I do, yeah. So, um, enjoying the show. Loving it. This is my first time down here. Yeah. Right. Obviously, I've had to travel from the from, north, yeah, north. The north. The north, north. I know. North can you tell by his accent? Yeah. It's not hard, really. 
yeah. is it just a friendly yeah. job? Yeah. To, to, to uh, the American viewers and those in Australia, whatever, this man is from the north of England. The prop is, he's got a slightly different accent to me from Middle Earth. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, good to finally meet yeah. you anyway. Congratulations yeah. on the 1K, on the by the way. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. So, yes, so 1K. On the oh, 1K warm up this morning. Oh, the 1K oh, subscribers. The 1K subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, great to finally meet you. Yes, yeah, you and look after you. So, guys, here I am with Charlie of the 10 Marathons in 10 Days Challenge. So, my challenge to you, Charlie, is 30 seconds to tell us all about 10 Marathons in 10 Days. Three, two, one, go. Great Barrow Suffolk Academy. Come and join us. We have camping bar facilities, seven different routes, and they're all single loop. And we do ultras and halves and five and 10Ks, and you will love it. It's my favorite 10 days of the year. Favorite 10 days in the year? Favorite 10 Sounds days good. of the year. Now, is Charlie the fastest so far? Leave some comments below. And I think that was a brilliant summary. So thank you so much for your time, Charlie. Thank you. And I love the smile. What a great smile, yeah? Thumbs up, everyone. See you later. Bye. So guys, I'm here at SOS Hydration, and I see so many colors here of tubes. So I don't know which one to go for. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch. Which one, which one, which one shall I go for? Let's go for that one then, yeah? Let's have a quick sip. So guys, I've got the watermelon drink. So here it is, a nice little thimble taste. Oh, I can tell you it does really taste like watermelon. So is this got electrolytes? Mmm. It's got electrolytes, and I'm reading on the box here, reduction of feed, electrolyte balance, looks really good. Mm. So guys, I'm at the Chimera stand, and it's piqued my interest, because I'm a bit of a scientist engineer, so I like to see a bit of science, and uh, I'm going to be given a demo of how this material helps with the um, blood circulation, I've been told. So I'm going to try some, see how it comes out. See the movement there? That's literally red blood cells yeah, circulating yeah, through uh, okay. your capillaries. So if you just try and stay as still as possible. Yeah. Um, so let me try and find a better one so we can get a good idea of the rhythm and the consistency. See now, can yeah. you see guys the blood flowing in? Mm. Alright, so if you kind of just notice that, yeah. and then I'm going to place this in, and yeah. then it might take maybe 30 seconds to a minute, uh, just shift it a little bit. I can see the change already. There you go, okay, for you, no, it's I can see the change it's already. super quickly. Sometimes it takes about Whoa. a minute, but for you it's been quite instant. So yeah, as you can see, oh my god, flow much more successfully, uh, consistently. It's witchcraft. <laughs> It's science, actually. Holy it's science. Shit. Oh, did you just see that? Did you see the way my blood cells all suddenly move really? So apparently that helps some um, recovery. So recovery I'm absolutely bowled over. Co yeah. Recovery and performance. What do you think, guys? So again, another social media legend Amen. here. Runs with smile on Twitter, is that right? Yeah, yeah. finish with a smile. Finish with a yeah, smile. Did it again, same. And he's smiling yeah. here, yeah. Enjoying the oh, show? Yeah. All right, thank you. Enjoying yeah, the show. Well, yeah. yeah, very busy. Yeah, very busy. What's your next race? I know you've been um, a little injured, but you've got a race book next. Yeah, Vitality Half. Big half. The big half in London. Yeah, that's the first race, yeah. Yeah. Well good luck with that and it's great meeting you again. And you, thank Keep you. Keep on smiling. Cheers. Yeah. Hey guys, I thought I'd stop at one of the races here. And I used to, have, being a student in, in uh, South Wales, I often used to go to Merthyr. And Pete here is talking about, he's going to give us a 30-second th challenge. You're going to tell me all about what this stand is about. So, three, two, one, go. Right, um, good afternoon. Merthyr Tidwell, it's the Beverly Hills of South Wales. Fantastic Merthyr half route. It's only £25. If you feel it, it's 23 and if you like a pint, it's only one ninety nine a pint in spoons. <laughs> it's a lovely run. Um, two trails, traffic and uh, Taff. A couple of little hills and uh, well, it's just fantastic. Come along. Brilliant, Pete. So you've done it well within that. What do you think, guys? Leave some comments below. Was he within the 30 seconds? And uh, all I can say is there's some great pizzas in Merthyr. So yeah. I always have finished Merthyr off with half, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> March. Thank you so much, Pete. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Hey, Cross the line. Take it. 
75% of people run the first half too quick. And it's a good day because everybody wears that. So guys, here I am with Paul Evans. Paul Evans, winner of the Chicago Marathon. What year was it that you won? 1996. 1996. So for you guys who've been following, you know that my best race so far today was the Chicago Marathon. So it's an absolute pleasure meeting you. What is the number one tip you say for beginners in terms of running a race? What number one tip would you say? For running a race? For running the actual race. What number no matter one tip? Right. Pace judgment. Get that pace right. If anything, it doesn't matter whether it's 5K or the marathon, half marathon, get that pace right. And it's like I said, undercook the first mile and just ease yourself in the race. Especially, I mean, if it's a marathon you're running or a half marathon, work out what, what, what your target time is, cut it in half, and make sure you don't go through halfway any quicker than you should. If anything, undercook the first half and the second half. Pick, pick it up. Pick it up. But okay. don't overcook the first half. Excellent. As you said in the talk, basically go out slow to start with. That's yeah? right. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. No for worries. That. Now, this guy knows what he's talking about. He's one marathon major. So take that tip, guys. For all of you, wherever you are, and also to all my Chicago friends watching this, Chicago marathon winner. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey guys, I'm here with none other than Brendan Rendell. I don't know if you've seen him before on the channel, but this man, yeah, this man here, ran coast to coast Africa. So to all my African subscribers down there, I know you're there, Jeff, just not down in South Africa. This man's ran coast to coast Africa. How does that feel? Crazy, crazy, incredible. Did I really do it? You I, did do I, it. I, did I saw do you it. do it. I did, yeah. I did do I went it. From one ocean to the other. Yeah, ocean. I ran out of the Atlantic Ocean, Namibia, Zambia, Malawi, Mozambique, and then into the Indian Ocean. Yeah. yeah. It was just incredible in every yeah. sense, yeah. from the wild animals to being quite alone in the deserts of Namibia to the children in Zambia. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then to run back through Malawi, where obviously I ran two years ago yeah. and raised yeah. 35 for the school. Brilliant. To run into that school and see all the, you know, the work. That had been put in the school building that was finished yeah, was yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's it was like 98 days of kindness, and I think that was what I said. 98 days, yeah. that's incredible. And running every day yeah, for 98 I had, well, days. Well, I had seven days due to sickness, yeah, I so did, I, didn't I, actually, I didn't actually have a day off out yeah, of choice. Yeah. So I ran 2,474 miles over 98 days. Seven it's days a long way, lost. guys. Seven days of loss of sickness, so it was 91 days running, yeah. But still, to run through that, so what would you say is your highlight of that run? Or Seeing was the, the whole thing The whole thing, but I think it goes back to... Because you had people coming yeah. out to you, they were running yeah. with you. I saw some of the clips on TV, it, it, it was just was phenomenal. amazing. Yeah, the children joining me, the wild animals, but the highlight, I think, was going back through the charity yeah. and seeing... Yeah. The, the donations that everyone's made sure, sure. and the completed science plot and running in with all the orphans yeah. was very special yeah, but then yeah. that's just one of very very like many so yeah, yeah the whole thing was amazing it sounds incredible because obviously you've done all this to raise money to build a school yeah. in Malawi yeah. is that right yeah and so far I think you've raised is over 40,000 yeah. pounds yeah but you need another amount I mean what's, what's coming up next so we so it's friends of Malandri orphans 100% of the donations go to the cause and um, we raised 40 grand, so the school building's uh, started. We yeah, need 21,000 yeah. more to finish it, uh -huh. but the first block's going to be finished, so we're going to be giving the orphans a home while they get an education. Wow, wow. I yeah. mean, it's, it's so inspirational, it's just, I, I can't yeah. put it into words, I'm just like tingling yeah. when I saw those clips of you. I mean, you, look at this guy, we, we, we both drink and eat the same sort of stuff. I don't think you eat as much pizza as me, but, <laughs> you know, it, this guy, you know, to look at him, he looks like an all regular guy, but clearly he's superhuman. Yeah. To have run those distances and to keep persisting yeah, yeah. and going through and obviously having become ill as well and then still having overcome that yeah. and still finished it, that shows yeah. amazing determination. Yeah, I, I, Ladies and gentlemen, oh. the show will be closing in 10 minutes' time. So oh, thank oh, well. you. So right. that yeah. leaves us to, it looks like we're going to get kicked out here. But thank you so much for your thank time, you. Brendan. Absolute pleasure Thanks as so always. Yeah. No doubt we'll see you again soon. Yeah, with some live so chat. And we'll do some Q&As maybe yeah, with Brendan. Time. Okay, thank yeah. you so much, guys. Thank, thank you. you. So guys, time to head out. Everyone's been out. It's now officially closed, so I better, I better get out of here quick before I get locked in. So there you have it guys, National Running Show here on Saturday, the 19th of January is done. Really enjoyed that, met some really good people. As you probably saw, 
on the, uh, the vlog, some of them I've recorded on here for your enjoyment and hopefully you found some of the uh, comments, points, tips on there and a bit of fun with the 30 second challenge. Uh, you know, nothing too serious, a bit light and thank you to everyone who did take part in the 30 second challenge. Hopefully you found it all useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and, uh, and if you are new here, please do subscribe for more fun and frolics here in the running world. So my name's been Donato. I've really enjoyed speaking with you guys, so I'm going to head off now and have some tea. Head back to uh, centre of Birmingham and uh, yeah, edit this for you for enjoy. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.